Welcome to the Geek Debate Dojo! Well, it's more like a hanger, but you get the idea. So why do I have a Geek Debate Dojo? Well, Injustice is right around the corner, and this is one of the games that I've been following closely, and I hope will kick ass. Of course, I got my worries like any other super fan does, and I'm gonna drop the hammer hard if they f*** it up! But, it's Nether Realms, and Mortal Kombat was excellent, I mean, it even earned a 9 out of 10 on my scale, so I've got some hope. As long as there's variety in the movesets, it's got tight gameplay with no infinite combo bullshit, and we get a ton of solid, extensive, cinematic story mode uh, like we did in MK, then things should be pretty sweet for DC lovers in April. Anyway, the guys at Injustice asked me to help let you know about the promotion for their game upcoming called Ballerina, which is going to reveal some of the rest of the roster, the characters in the game, and of course, pit our favorite characters against each other in a tournament to see who will win. As if we didn't already know. But it is always fun to have a geeky comic knowledge debate, hence the dojo. And as a bonus, we get to see the results played out as the combatants beat the crap out of each other in the game. And so they're going to have a bunch of celebrities talk about who would beat up who, like Kevin Smith is going to talk about stuff, uh, a bunch of other celebrities, and even regular people uh, with interviews just off the side of the street, which should be pretty funny, because not everybody is into comics like me and you. Um, there's going to be a bunch of prizes and stuff for voting at the website on who you think will win, but really, it's just this just finally gives me an opportunity to share my personal opinion and to debate with you guys on the mother of all geek fight questions. Batman or Superman? First up though, to get to that main course, Batman is up first in round one. He's got to go up against somebody who's already defeated him. Who's broken him, in fact. Bane, not even Joker managed to do what this monstrosity accomplished in one fail swoop. Now, we all know about Batman. We don't need to do, you know, talk about. Okay, he's the world's greatest detective, okay? He's the world's second best superhero. He's proficient in over 127 different martial arts. He has countless gadgets at his disposal. And given enough time, Batman is capable of taking down just about anyone. However, he is only human and so he's limited in strength by his body, his human body, even if it's in top condition. Bane, however, is a bit more unknown. Uh, of course, aside from what we saw in The Dark Knight Rises, but if you've never read the Nightfall comic, here's a bit more information about Batman's opponent. Introduced in 1993 via Batman, Vengeance of Bane number one and the Nightfall series, he stands six foot eight, weighing in at 350 pounds. He's none other than the man who broke the bat, Bane! Born in a prison and forced to serve a life sentence for the crimes of his father, Bane built his body to peak human physical condition. Many people mistake Bane for some dumb lump of muscle. He is not. Bane actually has a genius level intellect, photographic memory, and is an excellent strategist. He's also not afraid to fight a little dirty. This combined with his size and strength makes him more than a match for Batman one on one, especially when he uses his signature drug, Venom. Bane holds the distinct honor of being one of Batman's only villains to destroy him in such a decisive and powerful manner. He first freed all of Batman's greatest foes from Arkham Asylum, stalking him as he recaptured each one to exhaustion. Then he waited for him to return to Wayne Manor. At that moment, Bane confronted Batman, defeating him easily, cracking his back over his knee, rendering him completely disabled for some time to come. Batman is vulnerable to Bane. He fears him. And that makes Bane one of Batman's most dangerous villains, if not the most dangerous.
All right, Geek Battle commence. Jacob, I selected Jacob because he is the biggest freaking Batman nut I know. Mother always gives me shit for the Superman shit. Sh whatever, whatever. This is about you as Batman and me as Bane. Okay, ready? I got this. Go. Superman sucks. F you. <laughs> you done f***ed it up. Okay, ready, set, Round go. Bane bursts in the f***. You know what? He bursts through a f wall and he just tracks you right in the f*** out. You're out. Out like a light. Cold. Done. No, dude. Fight over. There's just no way. Fight over. Batman, we're not here or see Bane's fat Fight ass coming over. at him. Because I am stronger than you. In fact, when he sees Bane coming, Batman being the badass he is, Bam! Eight pressure points, knocking you to the ground. Okay. Like a bitch. So I'm disabled? Well, yes. guess what? Venom, motherfucker! I inject myself with Venom. I fucking pop lock and I'm pop locking now. <laughs> Knocked out all those nerve and bones get popped right back into place. And now I'm up on my feet and I'm whooping your fucking ass. Hey, back in! No! I ain't finished! I ain't finished! I'll pick up your scrawny ass and I'll body slam you on the ground. I'll put my boot to your neck. Now I'm finished. What are you gonna do, bitch? Oh, uh, nothing. Basically, just underneath your ass to the ground. Oh, before you can see me, smoke. I'm gone. Oh, okay. Here's Batman using his fing little girly ass gadgets. Can't leave home without it. Back credit card. What are you gonna throw a back credit card at me now? All right. Are you just gonna fuck nothing? What the fuck is this? What? Is that a teddy bear down there, baby? Osito! Osito from my childhood. Oh my god, how was it here? I remember all the times that my father had left and my mother died in the back, prison. Isn't it? Yes, in fact, there is actually a knife in the back of Osito that I can. Ah! Batman takes Bane down because I am the goddamn Batman. You fucking hate it. You fucking hate oh, it. I didn't where, see where did the f bear come from? In fact, I, I went knew along a couple of it. people in prison that knew you, and they told me a little secret about you. How? Not cheating, using How? my skills and How do you know that, though? I put most of them there. A little chit chat. <laughs> you're a fucking, you're a fucking liar. Whatever. If Bat, you know what? If Batman wasn't prepared, and we put them in a small fucking steel room. But Batman is always prepared. If he wasn't prepared, prepared though, if he wasn't prepared, and we put them in a small room with no fucking there's nothing to grab on, nothing, you know, I would whoop your ass. No. See, Batman's even prepared when he's on the shitter. Just sitting there, <laughs> Bane busting. Oh, battering, motherfucker. <laughs> and you're down. Whatever. Always prepared. Fuck Jacob, vote Bane. The angry army needs to go out, vote Bane, the fuck man over. Dude, if Batman did lose, which won't happen, you would never get your epic Batman vs. Superman battle, would you? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, All right. Vote Batman. Winner. Batman. Woo! Batman wins, motherfucker. As this, always. This is uh, my assessment, my our expert opinion <laughs> with this little scenario we did for you guys. Winner, Batman. All right. Round two, or match two, it's Wonder Woman versus Harley Quinn. Now, this one seems much easier to call as Wonder Woman has the advantage in almost every category. I mean, let's face it, Wonder Woman is the most famous heroine of all time. She's part of the trifecta, one of the members of the three greatest superheroes in the DC Universe. Kicking ass and taking names since her debut in 1941 via All-Star Comics number 8. It's Wonder Woman. Daughter of an Amazonian queen, it was said that the queen herself was a reincarnation of the first woman brutally murdered by a man, and that Diana was her firstborn child. Instructed by the gods to be fashioned from clay and infused with the soul of the unborn baby daughter within that first woman. Six Greek pantheons then granted her their powers. Demeter, strength, Athena, wisdom and courage, Artemis, communication with animals, Aphrodite, beauty and compassion, Hestia, 
resistance to fire, and Hermes, speed with the power of flight. Trained from birth for war, Diana was given indestructible gauntlets, modeled after the shackles the Amazons were once enslaved with, and the legendary lasso of truth, which renders those caught within incapable of lying. While it's true some writers in the Golden Age depicted her as a stereotype of what men wanted women to be at that time, she's since broken free of this. The current Wonder Woman is said to be the daughter of Zeus, thus a demigod, and one of very few to be able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with even Superman. Through miraculous feats and her tough independent warrior spirit, she is now considered Earth's greatest heroine and a feminist icon for being the full package of beauty, brains, and brawn fighting for peace, justice, and truth. Okay, round two, fight two of this live geek debate. I will be representing Harley Quinn, and you, my friend, you'll be Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Ah, move out of my way, I'm transforming. <laughs> in all her splendor. Wonder Woman wins! Wonder Woman wins! Cover yourself up. And vote! I'll win again! Vote Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, 2013. Anyway, so actually to really go over this, Harley just seems at a huge disadvantage here. Wonder Woman is this warrior princess who revels in combat. She's even punched a nuke and just flown away because of her high resistance to fire and burning. She's even fought dark side and lived to tell about it. However, doing some research on how exactly Harley could win, I found that Wonder Woman does have one weakness. Though, it's not entirely clear as to what degree. Uh, she's supposed to be vulnerable to cutting and piercing weapons, which is why you see her use her bracelets to deflect, you know, bullets and stuff like that, even though we've seen her take, you know, shrapnel heads and a fall from orbit. Still, it's kind of a cool weakness. I mean, it's supposed to be like the Earth. You, you know, you can cleave the Earth easier than you can try to, you know, crush the ground beneath you. So a high force to a very tiny area can pierce her like, you know, special arrows and guns. Harley, on the other hand, is purely human. Granted, she has great acrobatic skills and she's gifted, but, and she's crazy, crazy as hell, but, uh, you know, she's got a little regard for her own life. <laughs> Jacob, she's got, uh, you know, above average combat skills, but nothing near Diana's. Nope, Harley needs to do whatever she can to avoid taking just even a single clean hit. Get out of here! Oh, don't touch me there! A single clean hit from guns and arrows and stuff, which we've seen Harley use before to varying degrees of success. But for all realistic nerd assessments of their given power levels, Harley just cannot compete without a ton of outside help. Wonder Woman wins within seconds, you know, I'd give Harley like a 5% chance of victory, and that's being generous. But, I would love to hear you guys come up with a scenario for how she could win in this case. But she doesn't. You guys can vote at the injustice.dccomics.com below in the description. Watch the first video uh, for the event at WB's YouTube channel, and of course, Leave a comment here with your own scenarios for who beats who. But save the Superman vs. Batman debate for, you know, right before the game comes out. I mean, you and I both know that they're probably going to end up at the top. I mean, they spent, what the fuck? 
especially if we make that happen because we vote. I mean, they take our votes, so we have to push Batman to the top. And we all know who to vote for, girls and guys. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joke Show. So she spins like this. <laughs> ah, move, I'm spinning. <laughs> Uncut footage. Stop it. it. Stop! Stop it. <laughs> Women power, baby. <laughs> Unite. <laughs> You're not a woman. You cannot say that. How can you say such horrible things <laughs> about the Amazonian princess? I am a goddess. <laughs> uh, there we go. Live, real time debate battle. Yes, who gonna win, bitches? Yeah. Mm. I'm from the fucking comic book shop. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> F you over there. What you know about that? What you know about that? You ain't know about that. Oh! <laughs>